everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another tutorial today we're going to work on a ruffle bucket hat these are our tools i am going to use this alpaca wool i got this from timu it is an awesome wool it is so nice and soft it doesn't itch or anything like that but if you cannot use wool you can use a uh, category four red hard or um, you can use an acrylic yarn if you want to i'm also going to use a cream uh, milk cotton same thing it's nice and soft this is one of my favorite so, uh, yarns that I get from Timo. It is a cream color. This is our accent color. Of course, a pair of scissors, a five millimeter hook, a stitch marker, and a yarn needle. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my yarn here. Our brown is going to be our main color. We're going to go ahead and make a magic circle. Now we're going to make 10 half double crochets into our circle. For my beginners to make a half double crochet, go ahead and yarn over, go into your loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, which just means to yarn over your yarn and pull it through that loop. Now you should have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of your loops. And that is how you make your half double crochet for my beginners. Let's do that one more time. Yarn over, go into your loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Oops. I'm trying to show you, but I'm messing up. Okay. Okay. So that was our second half double crochet. So we're going to make 10 of those into this circle here. So when you have your 10 half double crochets, go ahead and pull that loop nice and tight. Make sure you get that middle section closed. Now for this hat, there's a particular way to turn it into a bucket hat. If you don't want to do that, you can continue just making it like a beanie and then add your, um, and then add your ruffles onto there. So now we are going into round two and we're going to make two half double crochets into the first stitch. So go right into that first stitch and yarn over and make your half double crochet. That's one. Oh, I missed that up. Let me do that again. Okay, make your half double crochet. And now let's go ahead and add our stitch marker because we're not going to be slip stitching. So add your stitch marker to that first stitch. And now to add another half double crochet into that same stitch to give you two half double crochets. So now in your next stitch, make another two half double crochets. And you're going to do this all the way around. When you come to the end, you should have 20 half double crochets because you added another 10 by putting two half double crochets into one stitch. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row. I'm at my stitch marker. I made my last two half double crochets. Go ahead and remove your stitch marker. And in your first stitch where you took your, where you removed your stitch marker, go ahead and add two half double crochets. And now put your stitch marker back into the first one. In your next stitch, you're going to make one half double crochet. We are increasing. This is the crown of your <clears throat> hat. So two in the first half double crochet, one in the next one, and then two in the next half double crochet, and then one in the next one. And that is your repeat for your third row. Okay, I am closer to that stitch marker and I have 30 half double crochets going around. 
If you have less or more, then that means you added, you didn't add enough stitches or you added too many. So go ahead back and count and make sure that you have two after double crochets, one, two, one, two, going around. <clears throat> So now we're stepping into round four. Remember to weave in your tail as you go. I keep forgetting to do that, but I'm going to do it for this next row. We're stepping into row four. Go ahead and remove your stitch marker. When you're weaving in your ends, just go ahead and grab the yarn as you crochet along. Um, so you don't have to worry about doing that later. Go ahead and yarn over and go into your first stitch with two half double crochets. We are still increasing. Put your stitch marker back into that first stitch. Now in your next stitch, you're going to put one half double crochet. In the next stitch, another half double crochet. In your next stitch, two half double crochets. So that is your pattern for row four. Two half double crochets in your first stitch, one in the next, one in the next, and two half double crochets in the next, and then one half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. That's your pattern going all the way around. When you get back to the end, when you get to the end, you should have 40 half double crochets going around. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row and I have my 40 half double crochets going around. This is row four. We're going to now incorporate our accent color. And the way we're going to do that is go ahead and remove your, well, actually keep your stitch marker in there. Take out that last half double crochet. Yarn over. Go into the stitch, but do not complete your half double crochet. Go ahead and grab your other color. Let's grab this cream, which I think is so cute. And go ahead and finish that half double crochet with your cream. Okay. I made a mistake. My bad. I already have the two there. We're going into our last two half double crochets. Sorry. So I have one there. This is the last one. Go in. Do not finish that half double crochet. Go ahead and add your yarn, your accent color, and pull that through. Now your main color is thicker than your accent color, but again, it's just an accent color. So let's go ahead and continue on. So once you have that all together, Go ahead and move your stitch marker from that first stitch. And we're still increasing. We're only on row five. We're going to increase. I think this is the last time that I do this short of an increase, but I'll, I'll explain that. <laughs> so um, once you've added your new color, go ahead and yarn over and go in and make your half double crochet. You're going to make two half double crochets into that first stitch. And then one half double crochet into the next stitch. Do not weave in your brown, as you can see me doing here, silliness. Make sure that when you switch out your color, that you leave that brown hanging because that is your main color. And we're going to come back to that. So let me fix this here. And now go into that first stitch with your first two half double crochets. And then in your next stitch, it's one half double crochet. Make sure you're weaving in the tail where you attach your yarn. Weave that tail in so you don't have to worry about that later. And then one more in the next half double crochet. And then one more in the next. So you start off with two. And then you make one half double crochet into the next three. And then go back and make two in the next stitch two half double crochets into your next stitch because we're still increasing we're doing this for row four so in your next stitch in the next three stitches you make one half double crochet that's one 
two, and three. And then in your next one, two half double crochets. So that's your pattern for row five. So I'm at the end of row five. I did not make that last double crochet because we're going to change colors. So I'm going to go into the stitch as if I'm making my half double crochet and stop there. And now I'm going to grab my brown yarn and go ahead and pull that through. Now, because we're not going to go any further, we're going to go down a few more rows before you add the accent color again. We're going to go ahead and bind off. So now, going back into our brown, we're going to increase again. But we're going to increase differently this time. We're going to go into row six. Go into your first half double crochet of the row, which is right here, and make two half double crochets. Make sure you're weaving as you go along. Make sure you bring in that beige color. Some people sit their yarn on top of the stitch. I put it in the back. I, I'm just not trying to be extra here. So go into the first stitch and make your two half double crochets in your next stitch make one half double crochet so after you make your two double crochets into that first stitch you're going to make ten half double crochets going around one half double crochet into each of the next ten stitches so I have my first two this is one two, three, four, five, six, make sure you're bringing in that yarn, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now in your 11th stitch, you're going to put two half double crochets. And then once you make your two, go ahead around again with one half double crochet oops, into each stitch. We're at the end of row five. I'm going to make my last half double crochet, but I'm not going to finish it because I want to go ahead and switch out my colors. So now once you made finished off your half double crochet with your brown, go ahead back into the first stitch with two half double crochets. Make sure you're weaving in that beige as you go along or the cream. Put your stitch marker back into the first stitch. And now we're going to do one half double crochet in the next four stitches. So after you make your first two half double crochets in that first stitch, go into the next four half double crochets with one half double crochet. So that's three. This is four. And then in your next one, two half double crochets. And that is your pattern for row six. We are still increasing to right before that stitch marker. Okay, so I have that done. This is row six. We have 60 half double crochets going around. So now we're going to increase for one last time. So go ahead and remove your stitch marker. We are going into row seven. Go into your first stitch with two half double crochets. That's one and two. Put your stitch marker back into the first stitch. And now we're going to make one half double crochet into the next ten. So this is two here in your first one. That's one, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now on your next stitch, put two half double crochets. And then again, one half double crochet into the next 10 stitches. And I have 66 half double crochets going around. Remember, I put two into that first stitch and then made one for the next 10 and then two in that 11th stitch. If you feel like this is not big enough for you, you want to just put, it's just the crown of your head. So just put that on top and see how wide that is. If you want to come out wider and add more stitches, just go ahead and increase. But I'm going to stop here at 66. This is wide enough for me. Now we're going to go into back loops because we want to make our bucket hat so that the sides come straight down. So now instead of going through the front and into both loops of your hook, you're going to go into the back loop. So go ahead and yarn over and with your stitch, you know you have two, you have that V stitch. Let me come a little closer. We have that V stitch and then we have the loop in the front and then the loop in the back. So we're going to put our hook only into that back loop because we wanted to get to fold. We wanted to fold over, fold down. So go ahead and yarn over and put your hook into that back loop only and make your half double crochet. Show you that again into the back loop only. That is the loop that's in the back that's furthest away from you. So that's the front of the loop. This is the back of the loop and make your half double crochet into that back loop and just do that all the way across. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row and as you can see, the hat is coming down the sides now. And that's what helps it to bring your hat, that's what turns it into effectively a bucket hat because of the sides coming down. Okay. So now we're going to continue making our way around. Now that we're working on the side, you want to make this as long as you want to. Mine, I like for it to come down to about mid-ear. So I'm going to go around for about two more rows before I begin with my pattern. So I am at the last stitch. I'm going to put my last half double crochet into that back loop there. And now I'm just going to make regular double crochets, go right into the stitch, just like you would normally with your half double crochets. I'm going to do this for three rows because I want to start to incorporate my accent color and my extended half double crochets there. So I'm going to keep making my way around. If Remember, if you can't tell where your first stitch begins, go ahead and put your stitch marker back in there. That way you don't have to worry about losing your place. That is the first half double crochet of the row. So I'm going to keep going around. As I said, I'm going to add three additional rows. I don't know if I said two or three, but I think I said three. So that's what I'm going to do. This is the first additional row to that side. I'm going to have a total of three rows and I'll be back. I'm going to meet you before the stitch marker. Okay, so I'm at the end of the rows and I have my three additional rows here. So let's finish our last double crochet with the accent yarn. Yarn over, go into your stitch, but do not complete your half double crochet. Go ahead and add your other yarn, pull that through, and move that brown yarn out of the way. Now you don't want to detach your yarn because we're going to come back to that yarn, but go ahead and yarn over. And go into the very first stitch with a half double crochet. You're going to make one half double crochet in the next five stitches. I'm going to remove this stitch marker. Take your stitch marker out before you start. 
go ahead into the next stitch with a half double crochet put your stitch marker back into that space into that first half double crochet yarn over and you're going to make one two three four five half double crochets one half double crochet into each stitch across now we're going to make an extended half double crochet so with your extended half double crochet this is your next stitch you're going to come down two rows so that's the first row two three yarn over and go into that stitch down here yarn over and pull up your loop make sure that you pull your yarn up so that it is even with the top of that row yarn over and pull through all three and then just keep repeating so in your next stitch since we made our extended half double crochet in this stitch you go into the next stitch with a half double crochet and then make five across so I'm close to the end and I'm going to continue on I've made my five now I'm gonna make my last extended half double crochet remember to pull that loop up on over and pull through and here's my last two oops okay so now all we're going to do is just make half double crochets going around going to make any we're not going to put any extended uh, half double crochets into the stitch so just yarn over and go into your first stitch with a half double crochet and then all the way around okay so I'm back at the beginning of the row we're going to go ahead and switch colors but because I'm a silly head and I went ahead and we did my end I had to cut, I had to cut off the brown yarn and now I have to reattach it so I'm at my last stitch here I'm going to go ahead and make my almost half double crochet and I'm going to add my yarn back in this is so my fault but no big deal your ends as you're going you can actually snip off that white but I'm going to wait a second for it to get a little bit longer so I feel safe enough to go ahead and snip that off so I made my first half double crochet and I'm just going to make one half double crochet into each stitch going all the way around I am weaving in my ends as I'm going I'm going to cut off this cream here get that out the way I'm going to make a few rows with this brown here so we don't really need that beige anymore I'm in the cream okay so I have my six rows of my half double crochets so go ahead and make your um, five half double crochets two what am I doing here I can't see okay <clears throat> two this is three four let me do four again four Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So instead of us going down three rows, we're going to go down two. So this would be our next stitch. Yarn over and one and two. We're only going to go down two and pull up that loop remember what I said before make sure that's nice and high and is even with your last row yarn over and pull through three now move into the next stitch and make your way around another five half double crochets four and five 
and then down two, one, two, right into that stitch there. Make sure you bring it up nice and high and make your half double crochet. And then move to the next stitch. And same thing as we did before, only we're, um, I'm sorry, it's supposed to be 10. See, I made a bubble there. Oops, oopsie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we do our extended. Go down to that second row and pull up your loop. Make sure it's nice and high and pull through all three end of the row and we're just going to go in uh, and make another row of half double crochets with your cream color so go right into that first stitch and yarn over and pull through i want to start incorporating our ruffles but i don't want to take this yarn out because i don't want to have to reattach it later as you can see i still have my brown yarn attached so again <laughs> Let me take this out so I can switch up my colors. Now we have our brown yarn attached and yarn over. Now I went into every other stitch. I did not go into every stitch. If you want to go into every stitch, you're more than welcome to do that. You'll just have a lot more um, ruffles going on. But um, I did every other stitch. So I'm going to yarn over. Remember to keep that uh, cream yarn out of the way and go ahead and make my six into this first loop. That's two. That's three. Four. Five. And six. Five. And six. And so just keep doing that all the way across. Skip the next one. Go into the next stitch with your six half double crochets. Okay. Keep doing that across. And I'm going to meet you right at the beginning. Okay. So we have our <clears throat> excuse me, first row of ruffles here. And as I said, I did every other stitch I made my ruffles so now to finish that off go ahead and slip stitch but I want you to grab your new color so well not your new color but your accent color and I want you to slip stitch with your accent color okay let's move the brown out of the way because we're going to go, we're going to come back to that brown, but we want it to be out of the way in the back, tucked away. Um, go ahead and chain one. And then now we're going to go, because we're making rows of ruffles as opposed to into the stitch of each ruffle, we're going to make, we're going to come into these rows here. So for your accent color, go ahead and yarn over and go into, there's a double crochet, uh, I'm sorry, a half double crochet right underneath the, um, there's a half double crochet right underneath the first double crochet that you make of the row. You're going to go into that like you're doing a front post of double crochet. So you go into that stitch, yarn over, and pull up your loop, and make a double crochet. And now you're going to do that six times, five more times, into that same stitch. So yarn over, just like you're making a front post double crochet, in and out of the stitch. Yarn over and pull up your loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So you're going to make six of those. So this is three, four, oops, 
five and six. Now I know that looks like a lot, um, but it's going to come together perfect. So now that's that stitch right there where you made those half double crochets. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so um, we did those there, those six. This is your next half double crochet right there. And you're going to skip that one and go into the next one. So just like before in the other stitch. You're going to do it like you're making a front post double crochet and go through and you're going to make six of those. So right into that stitch into the back post. Now we're going to finish our last color. Now if you want to stop here you can and not add that extra color. But I'm going to add my third row because I like how the colors come together and you have a nice little accent in the middle. So go ahead back to your brown yarn and you're going to go into the stitch where you made that slip stitch before. Move that uh, yarn out of the way and go ahead and slip stitch into that space there. Chain one. Now you're going to go into your next row and it's pretty much the same thing. So here's your first um, ruffles right here. And in the ne next to that is another double crochet. So now we're in the second row. Well, technically, it's if you flip your hat around, this is the first row and this is the second row. So we're going into that first row now. That's your first uh, ruffle of the second row of ruffles. I hope I'm not confusing you because I just confused the best out of myself. So this is your accent color. So now we're going back into the main color. So after you uh, slip stitch and chain one, remember to move your yarn out of the way and make sure it's nice and tight back there. Go ahead and yarn over. And there's your first ruffle there. And then there's your first double crochet up uh, first half double crochet of the row and just like we did before you're going to go there into that stitch with a back post double crochet I mean a, a front post double crochet and not half double crochets six double crochets into that stitch so I made one already and I'm going back into that stitch again that's two Three, four, five, and six. Oops. And six. Skein, thank goodness. So that I, I only used one skein for this whole project. So this is what she's looking like. Okay. I'm going to pull my camera up in a second so you can see what that looks like. See what that looks like. I'll be back. Okay, so here she is. Here is our <clears throat> ruffle bucket hat very pretty we have that brown on the top it kind of looks like an oreo you know with the brown and then you have the cream in the middle and then you have the other side nice little sandwich there and that is what our top looks like so it came out i'm, I'm quite pleased with this it came out really nice the other one is nice but i like this one much better next time i'm going to use just a thicker thicker yarn right here but other other than that i think it came out really awesome so i want to thank you for watching this tutorial please do not forget to like and subscribe